and now for those of you who are using Brezi Pro version let me show you guys how you can create something like that using Brezi capabilities to create our blog posts and our blog page as well to have something beautiful like that and also this is going to be our blog page we're going to be creating a template for our blog page and also a template for posts so instantly guys once you create your post using Gutenberg and publish it's gonna be looking like that so let's go back to our wordpress dashboard then here we'll need to hover over brezy select templates so now let's start first by creating a template for our blog post let's click in here add new and let's type posts and this is very important part by the way include you need to include posts and make sure you are selecting all posts and if you'd like to apply a different template for each category in there you can do so as well from here and instead of selecting all you can select a specific category like fabrics or maybe flex jeans or whatever or even you can specify them to tags or even specific posts in here however just to make life easier i'm gonna select all so that template in here that we're going to design will be applied on all our posts okay so now we need to click add <laughs> make sure you click add in here <laughs> this is very important by the way you can add other conditions if you would like these are called conditions and as you can see they are conditional you can apply that on all your posts or even a single post that's totally up to you guys and then once you are done with your conditions you need to publish that and now moving to the fun part and let's design our template edit with Brizzy Missed our cool guy in here, Brizzy. And let's go ahead and start by adding our header and footer from our global blocks, of course. So selecting that one in here, header, and grabbing our footer area as well, global blocks. And let's add a block for our title in here, clicking on that plus. You can simply select from any pre-made design in here, Let's go maybe with that one and let's move our block higher, settings, more settings, margins, probably you know how much you need in here, minus 110 or so for your responsiveness, however I'm not going to be covering these details in here, we already covered them before, but just wanted to remind you guys, okay? And let's also delete these titles in here and that icon delete, we don't need that one and that one as well. Feel free to keep any of these elements or customize that the way you'd like. I'm gonna show you here the basics and the sky is the limit when it comes to your creativity, okay? And actually probably I will remove that one as well in here because we will be adding a new element in here. It's called dynamic element and this is going to be our post title. And this is by the way exclusive to Brezy Bro. So let's go ahead, grab that one from the bottom in here. You'll find post title. And by the way guys, all these elements in here are dynamic elements as well. And we're going to discover them all in detail. And you might not see them unless you create your own template. So don't worry guys, if you're seeing that video and you're not seeing all these elements and you do already have Brezy Bro installed in your plugins, so anyway, let's start by that one, grabbing that title in here and let's delete that one. Now instantly guys, you're seeing that hello world and this is by the way a default post. So that's the first post existing in your website and that's mainly a template in here. So don't worry about these titles, they're gonna be changing according to your post. However, let's center that one and also let's make it heading one and by the way you cannot edit that dynamic title in here you cannot type anything or remove from that because it's already created in your back end in there and if you would like to change that title you will have to do that in your original post and let's maybe add a spacer on top of that one And also here when it comes to the background image, we can make it a featured image. 
so selecting our background in here and you see that icon in here once you click that one you can select a dynamic element as well which is going to be our featured image and now we're not seeing anything because that post that default post in there doesn't have a featured image Probably the first thing that you need to do and I forgot to do is to remove that post by the way I really hate it so I'm gonna set it back to our image as it was let's delete that one and I'm gonna make it featured image at the very end so we can see our visuals better and now let's add a new block and let's make it a blank one you can select from pre-made templates by the way as well let's add column so we can contain our elements and here on left side we will be adding a dynamic element as well which is going to be our post itself that element in here post content drag and drop you can also add a sidebar on right you can also add breadcrumbs in here and let me show you guys what are these these are simply a navigation for your viewers and it's going to look like that in here and let's go back to our template we need to align that one to left it's totally up to you guys if you would like to leave them or not and also here you cannot edit your dynamic elements as well however you can edit their styling maybe you can change your font for them maybe select a different font for these and colors as well so here we have links in that color you can also customize your hover state so once we will hover it's gonna be like that you can make it orange and same as well for your post you can select it you can change your font and still you will be able to edit your tags and instead of paragraph you can make it a title if you would like and color as well however let's drag that one a bit to right like that maybe more and also you can customize your sidebar as well instead of showing your sidebar in here you can click and click on that wordpress icon and instead of showing main sidebar you can select your header footer bar one or even add a footer widget area maybe one or two however i'm going to leave it as it is for now and let's add another dynamic element as well from our elements here at the bottom we can add post info and maybe you can add Facebook element as well so people can like and share your article and also you can add comment section for your visitors and let's add related posts which will be posts in that case at the bottom something like that in here so people can see similar posts and we're going to discover how to customize that one in detail however let's leave it as this for now now we have our post template ready we can change that photo in here to featured image and also let's add a color overlay black 50 percent or so so whatever image in here it's going to be showing our white text in that menu or you can keep using dark images in your posts as a featured image which is not really convenient and let's update now we have our template existing let's go and test that one out here we have our post we didn't have any template back then or any conditions so let's refresh that one and see what happens and now as you can see since we have these conditions they are overriding our theme and they are being applied in here we have everything in place and it looks nice already maybe we need to align these to left and also we can add a divider in here and reduce opacity as well for color overlay so let's go back and quickly do that Add a divider white color and also we can go to our image again since we have our featured image we can add animation or even make it fixed and let's 
realign these to left and even guys you can customize that element in here to show more posts then clicking in here and you can add more columns and rows To show more articles like that, maybe that's quite too much. Let's make it three and maybe just two rows will be nice. And you can filter them as well from here. So here you can filter them either by categories, like maybe that one, or even you can filter by ID for each and every post or title or date. And I think let's make it random and let's update that. And let's go to our post again, refreshing our page. Maybe you can move that title a bit higher and make it in white. And also here we have more articles showing as you can see. And I will show you guys how to customize these elements in here to look even better. But anyway, that looks nice and clean as you can see. Let's go ahead and create a Brazy template for our blog page as well. 